What if you have a passion for high-performance cars, but you don't want a gas-guzzling machine? You create a race car that's stylish and fast and extremely green. I know what you're thinking. How cool is this car? Well, believe me, we haven't seen the half of it. This elegant beast is the X1, and this is its designer, Ian Wright. Pretty amazing car. Thanks. Why don't we uh, get out and you can tell us all about it. Okay, let's do it. So besides being incredibly good looking, what is the X1? It's fast. <laughs> it's it's a, very fast. <laughs> it's a prototype electric sports car, and that gives you two things that are very unusual. One, it's extremely fast. It does 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, 0 to 100 in 6.8. Uh, but on the other hand, it uses very little energy. It does the energy equivalent of about 170 miles per gallon in city driving. But when I'm looking at this car, this does not like, when, when you think about an electric car, this is not what you imagine. Yeah, most people think they're golf carts. They're heavy, ugly, and slow. Yeah. yeah. So that was a big part of what I wanted to change was people's perception that electric cars had to be like that. And no, they don't have to be like that. Uh, so what powers this baby? Battery pack is down here. It's these large black boxes that run through here. What kind of batteries are they? They're lithium polymer batteries. It's a high power, large format battery. They're sort of related to the kind you use in cell phones and laptops, but those batteries are not designed for high power. Right. Um, it's a pure electric car, so it gets all of its energy from the wall plug. There's no fuel involved at all. So what next? The motor is here. The very nice thing about electric motors like this one is that they have an incredibly wide torque curve. So in this car, it'll do zero to 105 miles an hour in one gear. So there's no clutch, and then you never have to shift. The whole system is, seems incredibly clean and efficient. Yeah, um, mechanically, it's very, very simple. You know, the motor's got one moving path. There's one gear in the transmission. And that's basically it. So this is you know, the inversion of 100 years of automotive technology. Suddenly, we don't have to have a thirsty car to have a fast one. We can have as much power as we want, and it's still really efficient. So where does a car like this lead to for the average person on the street? The original thought was that ultimately we'd all be driving electric cars. I've come to realize that that's probably not going to happen. And the reason for that is the range limitation, which is a bigger problem than you, th than you think in, until you own an electric car and drive it all the time. And that gets you to the second problem, which is they're so expensive. There's a $40,000 battery pack in this car. So there isn't any way you can make a $30,000 electric car. So for those two reasons, I think we're going to wind up in the end with plug-in series hybrid technology. So essentially an electric car with a fuel burning generator on board that's a range extender. So you've got the best of both worlds. Most days you don't burn any fuel, but if you need to go out there and turn the key and drive to Los Angeles 400 miles, you can do that. So I think that's where we wind up in the end. So ultimately all this design, what this is leading to for you, is an advanced hybrid design. Yes. So if we just spilled the beans on your design, and did we have oh, to... Oh, that, uh... that part's not a secret. Oh, there, are <laughs> lots of, there, there are lots of secrets that I haven't told you. But that's... I figured as much. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Come on in closer, take a look at it. Uh, would you believe it's electric? It is? Yeah. So you can tell it's an electric car because you look in the back for an engine and you don't find one. You oh, nice. No fuel. So clearly with the X1, if you park it, they will come. Come on in, you can take a look. Well, it, it's, a, it's a nice looking vehicle. Oh. Thank you. Is this street legal? Well, it's supposed to have a front license plate. You know, it's supposed to have wipers, but otherwise it's street legal. <laughs> Not hardly. People definitely seem to like the look of the X1, but now we're headed to a nearby racetrack to see how this stealthy beast really performs. All right, so here we are at Infineon Raceway here in Sonoma, and Ian's gonna indulge me and take me on a ride and show me what this thing does down the track. It's a lot more uh, impressive than Space Mountain, I gotta say. <sighs> that is really, really fast. The acceleration is just amazing. Looks like we did 0.95 G accelerating. What does that compare to? Apollo takeoff? Oh, no, 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 no. 1.24 G turning left and 1.22 G turning right, which on, on these old hard tires is not too shabby. It's about as not too shabby as I think I'm capable of withstanding. 
It's, so, fun, it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's really fun, and I'm never going to forget it. I'm also about to lose my chicken sandwich, I think. So there you have it, a new take on high-performance cars. It's got incredible quickness and handling, all powered by batteries. You may not see an X1 cruising down your block anytime soon, but there's a good chance its technology will be put to use in the next wave of hybrid vehicles.